now at six. Never before seen video and audio now in the public's hands. All in hopes of catching this man, the killer of two Delphi daughters. And investigators believe he is no stranger. We likely have interviewed you or someone close to you. He could be from Delphi. He could work nearby. And he definitely believes he got away with it. To the killer who may be in this room. We believe you are hiding in plain sight. They're hunting him, and they're committed to seeing this case through. Live RTV 16 coverage from the Heartland starts right now. And thank you for being here with us. I'm Amanda Starantino. New recordings and audio tonight taken from the phone of one of the Delphi girls whose lives were cut short. New evidence and how this could turn and change the investigation. RTV6 has live team coverage tonight with Call 6 Investigates Rafael Sanchez and Paris Lubel. Rafael, talk to us. What are we learning today? Amanda, good evening. A series of new details released today that police are really hoping will lead to that arrest and maybe even a trial right there in the building behind me, the Carroll County Courthouse. We also believe this person is from Delphi, currently or has previously lived here. Carrie Timmons did not need to say a word for the world to be reminded of the deep loss being felt by the families of Libby German and Abby Williams. Raw emotions as new details became public more than two years the after video. the girls were killed. A new sketch of the prime suspect described as an 18 to 40 year old man who may live, work or visit in Delphi. For the first time, moving video of the suspect on the Monon High Bridge was released. This video that Libby German secretly recorded when the suspect approached her and Abby on the bridge back on February the 13th, 2017. State police also shared a bit more of the audio from that video. In the past, we've heard the three words down the hill. Now listen closely to the new release. Down the hill, guys. Down the hill, guys. That previous audio recording composed of three words down the hill. The new recording adds an extra word, guys down the hill. Police are hoping that all of this new information put together will give the public here in Carroll County and around the world more information that may lead to a possible arrest and, of course, the prime suspect to be behind bars. Call 6 Investigates, Press Bell joins me here in Delphi. You've been talking to a lot of the folks here in the town of, of, of 3000. Uh, they're, they're beginning now to sort of uh, see how this information will impact them. What are they telling you and how do they plan to use the information? Rafael, for two and a half years, investigators have released very little information on this case, but that all changed today. And there were about 100 people that were there at the press conference from the community and there was some shock and some frustration, but there's also some now new renewed, renewed hope. It came as a shock to everyone. It's been two and a half years. Why did they sit on this? Frustration from the community after state police releasing significant new details on the investigation for the very first time. You know, it's been a witch hunt around here. We all want justice. Investigators releasing a clip of video, a clip of audio, but the biggest reaction, an audible gasp from the audience, came from the release of this new sketch. We've all been looking for the wrong man for two and a half years. Police now saying this new sketch is the primary sketch of the suspect on the bridge. To see the sketch we've been seeing and to see this now, it's like, you know, like, it's completely different. They just handed me this picture. I was surprised. The picture shows him to be much younger. Investigators say they believe this man is between 18 and 40 years old and could appear younger than he actually is. Police also now saying they believe the man is from Delphi, is familiar with the area, or maybe works in the area. As a Delphi citizen, I've always felt that way. It could be someone around here. I always thought he would be from Delphi. Delphi has changed. You know, how we, instead of greeting your neighbor, you know, with a handshake and a smile at the grocery store, now you look at everybody with suspicion. But with all the frustration, there's also new hope. I think they will. I hope so. I know I'm from Kokomo and I, we constantly keep our eye open. I hope we get closure, yes. Soon. 
back live here in Delphi. State police were not taking any questions from the media today. So one of the many questions that people have on Facebook and throughout our social media pages on RTV6 is they want to know why today, why now all of this information? Rafael, well, investigators have been keeping a lot of the information in this case close to the vest. Now, we've been talking to our sources. They say they've reached a point now in the investigation that they thought it was time to release this, and that is why they're doing it today. The call to investigates, Paris LaBelle, thank you so much. Today, State Police Superintendent Doug Carter did have a, a message for the family. It was a raw emotion for him as he was not only talking about the killer at one point, but then he turned to his left and addressed the family of both 